Oh, yeah! Hey everyone, Supersonic. You know the name, you know the game, you know what we're up to by now. You know the last episode we went over here and we did everything we had to do with Jolly Roger Bay, Bombs Fortress, all the other shit, right? Right? You should know. You should know this shit. Don't tell me you don't know this shit. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, so the next course, last time we were at, of course, we'd already did, we finished all course one, did all, the rest of course two, did all of course three, and now we're moving on to the next course, which is right over here. Which is the ice level. Oh boy. 3D levels in a 3D realm ice. 3D realm space. I don't know how to talk. It is 10.30 at night. I'm pretty much spent. Let's see how well this goes. So, the first thing I think I'm going to do is the second star. Which just requires... First of all, get rid of that dumb text box. Which just requires going up here and getting this stupid freaking penguin. And just going down. This is pretty finicky. You could go down the normal way, but once again, we here, we're not normal. So I want to see if I can actually get this. Perfect. And you can see the penguin is very, very clearly clipping inside the mother. That can't be healthy. Oh, that can't be healthy at all. So yeah, how are you guys today? <laughs> I don't really know what else to talk about. I'm immediately going for that. Hey, how are you guys approaching? Hopefully it goes well. I'm literally recording this the same day I've recorded part two. So, pretty much same day, same feel. Uh, PayPal still hasn't gotten back to me via email on what's going on with that whole thing. So that's fun. That's great. Uh, I think I'm going to do the six star now. So pretty much same day, sh same shenanigans. Uh, we would go and use the cannon for this star, but... Well, we don't need to. Uh, with a quick jump down and a quick kick, it's easy to just get down here. Wall kicks will work. That's what the name of the star is. I don't know why they called it that. That Wall kicks do indeed work. They work a bit too well. <laughs> Holy shit. It's been, it's been a long time since I've done any of this shit on a Nintendo 64 controller. And I'm very surprised that I'm doing this well. Maybe I should get back into speedrunning this game if I'm so freaking... It looks like I'm so freaking good at it. I guess while these speedrun juices are going, I should try and go and get the third star here. Which... Or the first star here, which literally just requires doing this. Fuck. No, I fucked up. No, I fucked up. Go back. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna do this the right way. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. That's how you do it. I'm, I, I, I gotta give myself this, gotta give myself something. I'm getting a lot better at this. Like, I thought I'd be struggling quite a bit to get used to the N64 controller since it's been a while that, since I've been using it, but I've already got three stars and we're only three and a half minutes in. Good lord. We're already just about halfway through. So, I am gonna go and get the 100 coin star real quick, er, yeah, the 100 coin and red coin star. I'm not gonna get the star from the penguin yet, because I could just get that on my own time, I missed that one coin, whatever. So I'm gonna jump past him, probably shouldn't have gone on my belly like that, that's gonna make this a little harder. I'm going on the slide first, because I tend to die on the slide a lot, so by doing this first, it lowers the risk of me dying and losing all the coins that I've gathered. Plus... See what I mean? I suck at this. Plus, it minimizes the chance of the 100 coin star spawning on the slide, because if that happens, that's really, really bad. No one likes when the 100 coin star spawns on the slide. And I ain't a speedrunner, I can't just go for whatever coins I want in any order I want. Takes a bit more finesse for, than that for me. No, I'm gonna miss the most important one. Fucking hell. So yeah. Cool Cool Mountain in general. I like it. It's 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 not the best stage, not the worst stage. The ice doesn't really hinder me as much as hinder you as much as you think it would. 
It's more just, okay, if you hold back a bit too far, Mario just slides a bit more than he usually does. Not really that big a thing to get used to, in reality. I guess this was the first 3D Mario, so they didn't want the ice affecting you too much. And I appreciate that, because it's not really a, too much of a pain in the ass. I thought there were coins up here. I didn't know there was just an extra life. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have even come up here. But whatever. We could all use a little more lives. Except for the fact that I failed to br mention this or bring this up. But if any of you have noticed that the life counter is a, have, was a bit inconsistent between the first part and the second, maybe you did, I don't know. Uh... The thing with Mario 64, and I get it, it's the first 3D Mario game, so little quirks like this are bound to happen and be changed. But for some reason, if you reset the console, your lives aren't saved to your save file, so they just get reset to four lives. It's a little stupid, I know. But, you know, it was the f this was like the first 3D Mario game. Rules weren't really set yet. Something like that was probably bound to happen, but then they learned and they made their lives safe to the save file. Come Mario Sunshine. It's, it's alright, I guess. A bit annoying, but then again, I'd never really die much in this game anyway, so it doesn't really affect me. I say as I've died already, like, a lot of time. Fuck. Don't, 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 don't. Ugh. I say I never die, and then I almost died. <laughs> the plump- the- the plumber never dies. The mighty plumber dies immediately almost after. I- I, I make that- I do that kind of, kind of hypocritical shit a lot. Like in part two, the mighty plumber never dies, die. Like, dies. Like, why? <laughs> I mean, I like to think I'm pretty alright at this game. I'm not fantastic or anything, but I'm alright. I ain't no simple flips, that's for damn sure. Ah, uh, fuck. I need, I need that. I need to go back up to that slide thing. There's blue coins up there, son of a bitch! Oh, whatever. Uh, I'll take you. You seem cool with your three coins. I'll go ahead and hang out with you. Secretly in the back of my mind just mugs just mugs her immediately after Guys have you ever realized how terrible I am? Um Ooh, Slow down for a second is Now it's up there. Oh come on I can make it up there in my sleep Nah nah fam nah fam that ain't how we playing no, you son of a bitch! 98 coins. That just happened to me with 98 coins. God, God, God damn it. You know, j just God fucking damn it. Now I gotta survive the damn slide again. <sighs> At least I got the blue coin this time. You know, I thought when I landed on that surface that it was gonna be just okay, and I would've been fine, and I wouldn't have slid, but I guess the game had different plans for... Your old pal Supersonic failing once again in his plans to just beat the damn game. Oh, I never die! The mighty plumber never dies! <laughs> uh, fucking hell. It's only nine and a half minutes and I'm already getting salty. And I miss those coins. I miss them every time. Miss them every time. Yeah, in this episode more than any, there's probably gonna be gaps where I'm not really talking. Because A, it's 10.30 at night, and B, I almost have nothing to say since it's the same day. And I'm not Chugga Conroy, I can't just pull shit out of my ass to talk about. So yeah, I apologize, but that's just, that, that's just the way it be. I'm just gonna grab the extra life here again. 
I learn how to jump, if I learn how to triple jump like an actual good at video games person. That way if that shit happens again, I could just be like, oh hey, extra life. <laughs> the mighty plumber never dies, he doesn't need an extra life. Get the fuck out of here. Me and my confidence screwing everything up. Okay, you can wall jump off that. Not really gonna try it, but it's noteworthy. Don't, don't try it. That's right near an edge. Don't try to be cool. Don't try to be cool. Just fucking get the shit. <sighs> At the very least, they give you a lot of coins. Like, you have the slide, which gives you, like, probably 60 or 70-something coins. The outside, which you, gives you, you, which you have, like, a blue coin switch for. No, 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 no. Ugh, God. Every time that happens, it gives me anxiety, because I think I'm just gonna die and fail. With 87 coins in tow. Alright, so I think I really need to just... There you go. I really need to give it that whole ha-ha-hoo-hoo-hoo! Hoo, hoo, yahoo! You know what I mean? You really gotta give it that old Yahoo! And the Mario not Yahoo, not the fucking Toad. Yahoo! <laughs> Sound like fucking Joel when I did that. Yahoo! <laughs> We're gonna have lawsuits up the ass! I'm trying, guys. Uh, this is just me trying to be funny. It's not funny. I need to stop trying. <laughs> because the more I try, the more people... The more people slowly start to realize how unfunny and unsociable and uninteresting I actually am. Ain't it just fantastic? I need to go back down and hit the warp. I really should have rethought this. I really should have rethought this route. Uh, alright, we should be fine now. Just give it the old Yahoo! Oh uh, boy. Yeah, 1030 at night was really not a good idea to be doing this. Because I have, like, nothing to say. Alright, the coins, I think, are gone. No, they're not. They're still there. But I'm not gonna go for them. I'm just kidding, of course I'm gonna go for them. They're coins, why wouldn't I? That'd be dumb. Alright, I think... Ooh, should I take my... Yeah, I'm gonna take my chances. And if not, I'm gonna bite myself. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I miss this. I'll genuinely be very upset with myself. I kick. Hold down. Whoa! <laughs> No. Fucking lord. Give me that shit. Give me that shit. Now I just have to get the red coins and not have to even worry about the 100 coin star if I somehow manage to fuck this up. Now watch as I somehow manage to fuck this up. It's bound to happen. Now I'm fine. Oh god. I hate a hundred coin mission. I I will continue to say that until my vocal cords fall off. I hate a hundred coin missions. I always will hate a hundred coin missions. Nothing will ever stop me from hating a hundred coin missions. Also, we could technically go fight the second Bowser fight if we really wanted to. That's how that's how much of this game we've done so far. We're not even in the second part of the game, which is the basement yet, and we can already go fight that area's Bowser. A lot of progress we've made, we have. So now I gotta race this big old guy. And he cheats. Like, he rubber bands like a motherfucker. Well, that's not gonna count for me now. Even if that were to have went, that's not gonna count for me now, because I went off the track. <laughs> 
the thing about this race is you can't fall off the slide and land back on it at a lower point. Because if you don't do, the penguin will recognize it as cheating. And he will just not give you the star. And you will cry a little on the inside. Especially if the motherfucker knocks you off. Like, he can do that sometimes. It's infuriating. And even if you manage to recover, he just says, Oh! You're cheating! Motherfucker, you pushed me off. Like, if anything, you're cheating for trying to get rid of the damn competition. Fuck off. Fuck out of here. My win. I'm, I was hidden. I was here the whole time. I was here the whole time. Ooh, I can just grab that bike. Yep. No. Just walk into it, Mari. Just walk into it. Don't, don't try to be fancy or else you'll probably hit that door and cry. Like, more than you've ever cried in your entire life. See, look how many coins are in the slide. There's like 60-something. If you ever wanted to go lives farming, there's your spot. And now this is the only star we can, like, we... This... Oh my god, I lost my words. Holy shit. This is, like, the only star where we need to physically select its name in order for it to become available. You talk to this guy, he goes, Oh, I'm gonna roll. Just roll down the hill. And then you gotta follow this slide down completely. If you fall off, you will fail. You follow the slide completely down. You make your way over here and you very quickly get behind him. And then the snowball will come down. And yeah. If you go off at any point, what'll happen is he'll roll past him, go through here, and just fall off the edge over there. And it's actually kind of a little sad when that happens. Not gonna lie. So now the snowman's reunited, we whoopee, woohoo, we're done with Kuku. That was very short. And by very short, it took me 17 minutes and I didn't even realize it, holy shit. So now I got one more course to do and then we'll be able to go take on the first Bowser. Big Boo's Haunt. Spooky level. Get your, get your, get your skeletons ready because they're about to be coming out of the closet when they see this shit. So, Big Boo's Haunt is divided into two levels, which is the bottom level and the top level. Normally, you're not supposed to be able to access the top level until after you beat the first star. Well, <laughs> who says we're normal around here? In fact, we're gonna go get the last star first, just because we can just get up to the top just immediately. So, you'll see there's a Boo up there. You're normally not supposed to get to him until, like, the very last star in the level. But you see, we around here, we're not very normal, so we're just gonna perform a quick, a quick side flip wall kick, not as cool butt sex supreme, and we'll be going on up, and it'll be neato. Now we can't actually get one of the stars here yet, until we get the vanish cap, but that's no issue at all. That's like, that's like, negligible. We'll be get vanish cap, the, the last two caps, We'll be getting like as soon as we enter the basement. Also, all King Boo bite fights just amount to ground pounding three times. It's very easy and very simple. So we'll become we'll only be able to do like five of the levels in this, in this, in this. Oh my lord! Five of the stars in this course so far. God damn it! Well, looks like we're going back up. <laughs> This star is kind of notorious for the fact that it's very hard to get to because it's like at the very top of the roof and you have to pull off some, okay, you have to pull off some pretty fancy maneuvering to get to it. Of course, that would be no problem for me if I wasn't a big ol' idiot. Uh, okay, first of all, piss off the both of you. There you go. I didn't need the I didn't need the dive. The dive sometimes just screws me over and just bonks. So thankfully we don't have to fight the boo again. Ooh, can I get this with this camera, I wonder? Oh, I did it. There you go. 
Sometimes I need Mario Cam, sometimes I don't. That camera, to be honest, is pretty, pretty bad. Because you can't really see where you're going. It's a wonder that I was able to even build up a long jump in the first place. So that's the sixth star. I think we should just do the 100 coin mission and get that over with. Actually, wait. No, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to wait on that one. We're going to do... Ooh, we're going to do the the book sh the bookcase star. So normally to get one of the stars, you'd have to uh, solve a bookcase puzzle. Just putting a few bookcases in order in like the... Uh, the room down in this room you do that in this room also if you just want to go back through a door when you go back through it you can just kick and you just go through it's great normally we'd go through that room we have to put in a super secret combination in order to in order to do it in order to get through but we ain't like that here so the star is actually right over there you can't see it you still can't see it but just trust me it's over there so in order to get over there, we actually do have to do some pretty fancy shit. Uh, let's see if I can actually pull it off. This might take a minute. I almost had it. There we go! Look at that! So yep, start right here. Very fancy. Just a quick triple jump dive will get you where you need to go in a lot of different situations. So, what's up next? We can't do one of the stars because, again, the vanish cap. Hmm. Should I just do the first star? I think I'm just going to do the first star now. Just so I can get to the second mission. The second mission is pretty much crucial for the, uh... 100 coin star. So the first mission, you pretty much just have to go around and start killing some booze. Ouch. The good thing about these booze is that each of them have a blue coin. So it makes the 100 coin mission pretty, pretty easy. And this, the reason I'm waiting until the second mission is the second mission has even more booze in the basement for you to get. So it gives you even more blue coins. Plus this eye gets you a blue coin. We'll talk about him later. It's pretty nice. This level's probably the easiest when it comes to 100 coin missions. Okay, good. Get your ass over here. You don't have to give me your coin, just die. What the hell? Did he get himself stuck? <sighs> you son of a bitch. Right. Look. He's right here. There we go. But that's going to be annoying because I'm going to lose that coin if he does that again. Ah, fuck. Come on. Come back over. I believe. Yeah, I have a feeling the commentary for this part isn't going to be as good. Because I'm not really saying all that much. I'm just kind of saying how the game works and all that. Then again, I'm not really sure if I really said all that much in the other parts either. Yeah, we're not going to use the stairs. We can get this star, but God knows we're not going to use the stairs to get it. Yeah, stairs come out of there, but we don't need them. So now that'll open up the second star, which has the other booze that we need. So, a hundred coin, red coin star, a go-go. Is a go, sirs and ma'ams. And anyone else that may be watching, non-binaries. I don't fucking know. Be who you want to be. Oh, boy. Huh. Huh. It's time for the typical Super Mario 64 meme that you must say whenever you play Super Mario 64. Hey guys, Scuttlebug Jamboree, am I right? Ha 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 ha. 
fun. Oh, fuck off. So you see, this star is very easy. We already have 26 coins and we haven't even stepped foot in the mansion place yet. Wow, good. Slam your face into it, why don't you? We already have 32 coins. We, we're about to get five more from this up here, if I can get to it without being dumb. Oh, for God's sake, dude. Oh my God. Wow. An IQ of three. That's what I have. Oh, it's not even up there. It's on, it's on, it's here. An IQ of negative two. Alright, so now it's actually about time we actually step into the mansion and start grabbing some coins. So, hey, y'all remember the piano? Get ready to be spooked. Oh, no. It's so scary. Yeah, that's right. Assert your dominance by kicking. Oh, man. Again, I don't really have much to say. I apologize. Oh, are the boos not here? No, they gotta be. Huh, I guess not. I guess there are no boos here in this. I didn't know that. Huh. Interesting. could have sworn maybe I killed them when I went around the back yeah that's probably what happened I think I killed them when I went around the back and did that door because I can't imagine they just wouldn't be in the second star oh boy this this thing again all right I'd really love it if you just didn't get stuck this time you fucker Okay, I've effectively lost his coin. I'm not even going to bother. But it's fine, because there's plenty of coins. In fact, I haven't even really gone upstairs yet. There's a place up here where there's just a ton of coins. We're going to get to that in a second. First, we're going to actually use the stairs this time. I know, blasphemous. We actually use the stairs. Alright, so that's just another useless floor. I don't even want know why I bothered going in there. This room, still useless. Still don't know why I even bothered going in there. This room, there's a red coin all the way over here. All that, and I didn't even explain how the eyeball guy worked. The eyeball guy, if you just walk around him a bunch, uh, he gets dizzy and just dies. So, okay, here's another one. So you just run around him a bit, and then he gets dizzy, and he dies. May he rest in peace. Here, there's two red coins, but you're gonna get squished if you stick around for too long. So, don't do that. There's one more red coin, and then we go and get a whole bunch of those blue coins. First of all, there's a couple here from these book, bookie, bookie bobs. That's not their actual name, so don't actually say that that's what their actual names are. I just decided to call them that because I wanted to. Oh god, Mario, you better jump. Okay, good. Because we still got to get up here. And then grab the, the rest of the coins that are up here. Oh, perfect. I thought that, ju I thought that angle was going to be weird. And it wasn't going to make it. So these should be the last coins we need. Perfect. Why do I do these things that I do? <laughs> Alright, so now we pretty much just go back out and get the stuff. This is, aside from Womp's Fortress, probably the easiest 100 coin star in the game. They just give you so many blue coins, it's not even funny. And it also makes for a pretty short level in general. And then once we're done in Big Boo's Haunt, we just go 
kick Bowser in his d dumb, stupid face, and then we go from there. I guess. So we still gotta go down to the basement for the merry-go-round. And then that's all we're gonna be able to do here for the moment. I actually don't know... Which? Oh no, it's this one. It's this room. You just go down to the basement. See, in all the coins that were up here, I said something about waiting until the second star to do the 100 coin mission. All that, and I didn't even need to go down here. Like, watch how many more coins there are down here if you had trouble upstairs. There's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25 more coins, just in case you had trouble. And then you gotta fight Big Boo again. Just in case you had trouble with getting the 100 coin missions, just in case. They just throw you a quarter of the coins you need down here. So that's all we can reasonably do in here so far. Now I say... I think we've done everything so far. Um, yep, 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 alright. So now we gotta go kick Bowser's dumb face and get his red coin star. Then we'll be able to do some shenanigans downstairs soon enough. It'll be great and it'll be fun and everyone will love it. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Alright. Oh boy, look at that. This Princess Peach is so... Oh no, Bowser. Oh. Why do I... Why did I say that? That meme is dead. Why did I say that? Uh, so, see, the quarrels when I'm tired. Never again will I make one of these videos while I am... While it is 10.30 at night and I am tired. Actually, it's past 10.30 at night at this point. Wow. I meant to press B, and I pressed the fucking crouch button, which is on the back of the damn controller instead. I don't even know how I managed to pull that off. Alright. Again, don't really know what to say. It's a Bowser level. You're seeing it. It's one of the more linear levels rather than just a big, open-ended course bullshit. I do kind of hate the way the red coins are laid out here. Because let me show you, there's one here. There's one over here. Hold up, you gotta, and then you gotta wait if you miss it. And then after that, you gotta, you gotta go back. Gotta come over here. And then there's one over here you gotta get. Like, I think you could just go over there and then just follow this beam around. But either way, you're still backtracking. That just seems like kind of backwards level design. Alright, so honestly, I'm kind of scared to do this because this this place, this walkway is kind of narrow. I'm not trying to rush this part. So then just Yahoo! 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 Wrong Yahoo! Alright, well now I gotta pull off some real tricky, tricky dumb shit. Don't, don't, nope, nope. Should I even try to do this? I think I should stop before I just die. <laughs> Sometimes the tricky dicky bullshit ain't gonna get you where you need to go. Sometimes you just need to just take the simple way in life. In, in life, not, not just in video games, just life in general. You just need to go the simple way instead of trying to pull off the tricky dicky bullshit. Ooh, wait. Ooh, should I risk this? Oh, we should definitely risk this. We should definitely not risk that. <laughs> oh, but it's so tempting. I want to risk it again.
Perfect. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I have eight red coins. Dying would be terrible. I'd have to do it all again. Yeah, let's risk it. Yeah, it's fine. Also, we're about to see the, uh, the epitome of, uh, telling people how to beat you. Yeah. Just try to grab me by the tail. You never be able to swing me around. He immediately starts the battle by throwing a temper tantrum. Yeah, that's brilliant. So this does kind of hurt, spinning the control stick like this on an actual N64. Let's see how my Bowser throws are. Oh, they suck. Oh, they suck dick. <laughs> My Bowser throws suck dick, so I can't possibly miss now. See, this is why I can't be a speedrunner. I can do the movements fine, but when it comes to actually not sucking dick, yeah fam, not possible. I must suck a minimum of 13 cocks per speedrun. Actually, I, I think I said, thir I don't know which number I said, it was either 3 or 13, I already forget. It. I think I accidentally said 13. Alright, so just for the sake of completeness, I am going to go down and I am going to do one more thing before we end this off. Just so I can finish Big Boo's Haunt. So this is going to be your first 100% exclusive look into the basement of the castle. Take a look. Ain't it fantastic? We finally have somewhere new to explore. But of course, before we explore that, I don't know why I went in there. Because of course I gotta get where I need to go the tricky dicky way. This way you're not supposed to be able to get up here. Because it's that slope. But who says anything is impossible? I say... I say... I say... We get up here anyway, just because we want to. So now we're in here. Life's great. We go in here. Go down this little waterway here. Pound the pillars in their asshole. And no, I'm not joking about pounding the pillars. The sign here literally says, if we give it a read, it is decreed that one shall pound the pillars. So yes, these pillars are destined to be fucked in the ass, so we shall give them that beautiful ass fucking. Why am I the way I am when I talk about these things? Oh man. So now we go over here, and hey, look at that. There's actually a couple coins. I want to get these, because they will give me a pointless extra life that I may or may not need later. I just, okay, come on. It's pointless things, Mario. You know you want pointless things. Come on, Mario. You know you want pointless things. Mario. Mario. Thank you. There you go. Alright, so now... We can go in here... To get... The next cap. Invisible cap, it's great. It's also probably very useless. And we're never gonna use it. Except for like one star in the entire game. So yeah, of course we need it. It's for it's one star, guys. It's one star we can never get unless we get it. I think I missed one, actually. Yeah, we missed one. So now it's time for the climb of shame. Hey, you guys know Yahoo? But here's a new one for you. What is this, about 50 U's now? 60? Alright, let's figure out. Yep, yeah, right over here. This is also a good place to farm for extra lives. Because the good thing here is that you can actually just jump down this big old pit here. 
it won't kill you, and you could just come in here and get the extra lives again. So actually, this would probably be a better li li lives live farming place than uh, than uh, the 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 cool cool mountain. All right, I'm gonna shut up here because I actually need to pay attention. Fuck. Fuck. I hate life. I jumped just a little too early. And now I get to take the, the, the fall of shame. Wait, do you lose a life? No, I don't think you lose a life. I might have just spread wrong information. Maybe you do lose a life. I certainly don't remember you losing a life. That's strange. Alright, well. Let's try this shit again. Hey guys, I want to try and get the Siglemic. It's not going to happen, but I want to try it anyway. No! Oh, we were so close. Oh, man. You only get one chance at the Siglemic. Oh my god, if I had just went a little, little earlier and just held right a little sooner, all oh, that would have been- We were even lined up exactly, I just had to hold right. God damn it. God damn it. That, that actually makes me a little angry. We probably landed something even rarer, though. We landed on top of the cage. Which might be an even bigger accomplishment to some. Who knows? However, now with the Vanish Cap, we can actually finish Big Boo's Haunt. Did I say with the cannon? I don't... I, guys, I have a very... I have very short-term memory. Why do I do the things I do? Just back... Just, just ground pound into him. Man. Oh man, so it's eye to eye in the secret room. You need the Invisibobo cap. It's gonna be great. You gotta go up here and... Yeah, it's fantastic. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do something even better. Nah, fam, we got this. We got this. We got this tricky dicky. We're gonna get this... We're gonna get this tricky dicky, guys. I don't care how long it takes, we're gonna get it. Fucking goddamn it. Fuck! Hey, Lamau! Alright, so now we're in here. We're gonna get this. We gotta be really freaking quick. No bullshitting. No, no, no dog dicking. I say as I dog dick everything. So now I gotta go back and we grab the cat. I hold up. Give myself as much time as possible in case I screw everything up. Like I tend to do all the time. To be fair, the camera in this room sucks ass. Uh, 
the one time I need to actually be a speedrunner, I cannot actually be a speedrunner. Right, come on. There we go. Giant eyeball. Not in the right place still. I'm invisible. I'm the ghost here. <laughs> Alright, we've done everything on the first floor of the castle. So now we'll be able to hang out in the basement for a while. We'll be able to give... Be able to... That was... I was about to make a very bad joke that I probably shouldn't make. And I stopped myself just for you guys. Just for your virgin ears at home. Why did I do these things? Alright, anyway. That's it. I'm very tired. I'm going to hit stop recording. And I'm going to go make a beeline from my bed. And get a good ass night's fucking sleep so I can kick tomorrow's ass. And then tomorrow I'll actually edit this together. So, this has been Super Sonic 1014. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later, and bye.